Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're doing some fishing along the eastern shore of Virginia. We're targeting redfish, speckled trout, and striped bass. So uh, I guess let's just hop right into it. Shad. Just let's keep going. There we go. Big fish. What is that? Big fish. Big trout. I think. I think it's a massive trout. Oh. No. Oh, massive trout, wow. Oh man, can't believe I just missed that fish. Wow, man. That was a big fish. There we go, guys. Another fish add to the numbers not very many fish around but there are a few there we go that was on the Ramsey Bates shad here a little paddle tail gorgeous little striper down he goes he like absolutely slammed this shad though a few times too it wasn't just once <clears throat> hammered it. Oh, he ripped it wide open. Look at that. Huh. That blows. So I'll put a new one on.
What do we got? Another striper. Nice one. Nice fish. Wow, there we go. Nice fish here. <clears throat> gorgeous fish, gorgeous striper. It's like bent or something. Caught him on the Ramsey Bates shad right here. It's a gorgeous little shad. And obviously it catches fish. Sweet. Gonna release him. Down he goes. guys so I accidentally messed with the camera the biggest fish of the day for me um I don't know if you guys can see that but he's got crabs down his throat real fat healthy striper oh. there we go nice healthy fish it's a better look at the fish all right Water temp is about 75 degrees, so I thought the fish would kick off a little bit stronger than it did because it was the water was definitely cooler than it should have been, but um, the fish needed a little bit extra time to recuperate, Down and I was luckily able to grab that with my left Whoa. hand there, and she kicked off strong. That was a good fish. Wow. Okay, guys, so he hit the lure so hard that he broke the, uh, the spring that was on there to hold on lures. Wow, that was a strong fish, guys. He hit hard. Thought it was either a big speck or a red, but uh, no cigar in that front. Don't know what this is. I was reeling in to reset and something hit it. Doesn't feel too big. Oh, looks like a ray. Yep. Counos. Buddy. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to mess with you. I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get hit by your tail. Oh now he knows he's hooked. Oh, I was hoping it was a redfish. <laughs> not lucky enough.
This is my first time ever dealing with a stingray in the kayak or ray. Don't really know what to do with this guy. All I know is that I need my pliers. That's about all I know. Buddy, come on. Oh, my gosh. Not pulled. Well, I wish it was a redfish. Jeez. And on that note, we're going to end the video here. Uh, but for a second, I just want to talk a little bit about the speckled trout fishery um, that I've been experiencing, and I wonder if it correlates to any of your guys' experiences as well. Um, I've not been able to catch that many speckled trout this year. Uh, I've gone on a few trips, and uh, each of them I've maybe only caught one speckled trout. Uh, and they've all been pretty big-sized fish, but I don't know where all the small ones are. I cannot find any. Um, so I've been pitching at grass slats, grass holes, um, deeper ledges, all sorts of stuff, and I just can't find them. So I was wondering if you guys are experiencing the same thing um, because the water that I fish is generally under pressured. Um, there's not too many people around, not too many boats or anything, especially on weekdays. So it, it, it's been weird. It's been a weird summer. So uh, I, if you guys want to go down in the comments and discuss this more, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. Um, but on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video.